This is Eric Lemon. I'm back with you with more self elevated EDF slash spring power universal exoskeletons. And basically, I got the um, self elevated spring power universal exoskeleton armor laid out. And I got the um, padded suit with the built in knee pad, flotation, got built in pockets. Um, I'm yet to upgrade to, to the Kevlar inserts, but it's as simple as getting them. Once I get them, I can, I mean, I can have them there too, depending on what I decide to do with them. Cause I'm probably, um, when I, by the time I get them, probably didn't advance this part of the um, padding itself too also. Still got to do a little bit more tailor make um, work to the um, actual Kevlar vest. And, but it's just some extra little features I want to add. It's like a little extra padding in different places. I wanted to try something that I hadn't seen and a lot of exoskeletons for is um, the way the um, actual vest contours to the body. But I'm going to wait till I actually build a prototype before I let that out. So I at least have some documentation. But yeah, got the shell laid out. Um, right now, before is what my test has shown, um, hidden center mass, it can stop AR rounds from where I was shooting. I was shooting on it. I was hitting it from about no more than 15 to 20 yards away. It's pretty much point blank, blank range for a rifle at that caliber. I mean, it's still, yeah, point blank range for something like that. So I was hitting it at point blank range and I was um, still stopping it with um, that like same material that the shield made out for its aluminum plate and also with just one aluminum plate backer. But now I got double sandwich stainless steel on there. So that stainless plate is a lot more, um, it's like three times as strong as that, no, it's five times as strong as that aluminum plate that was backing up the AR round. And then I got it double sided. And then I'm finna take the handle off and the arm scrap, fiberglass the whole thing again, and both sides, trim it down, paint it, and drill the hose back in, put the hand grip and the scrap back on. So that's gonna make it, it's gonna stop some AR rounds. It's like, that's just a prototype. I'm gonna do it in fiberglass and it's still gonna stop some hell of AR rounds. You can imagine if it was like AR steel with a Kevlar wrap. And I got, I just ain't gonna, my armor is good enough to where I ain't gonna let my upgraded features for the shield go. You're, you're stuck with that for right now. I'm not for it. I showed you the makeup of that, but it's some stuff I got for that, man. It's gonna be nice. So I'm not even gonna release that right now. But in general, got that. And also, oh yeah, I hadn't started the arms yet. That's, not, that's what's up next. I know I gotta just, I'm gonna go over this some more and just make sure I got all my ends and out. But when I go to do the arms, do the quick connect, I'm gonna end up putting the quick connect pieces back in the shoulder place to connect the arm. So I'm gonna be going over that back piece anyway. Also wanted to go through the scraps on this and I'm changing, putting new scrap. It's functioning fine, but you know, I may not even touch it. Uh, for, yeah, I'm gonna change the scraps and I wanted to have a nice presentation. And then, like I said, I'm, by that time, I can go back down. I'm gonna take the shin plate off again. I'm fine with that. I'm happy with that. Take that shin plate off and the neat plate, leave it together. And then basically do the wrap on there. Drill a hose out, bolt it back on there. It's gonna be fiberglass wrap, but like I said, production model, Kevlar wrap, AR steel, titanium. I mean, it depends on the manufacturer's choice. I mean, got some other metal in mind. Uranium, titanium, uranium, w, double plated wick, Kevlar, I don't know. It's up to you. But yeah, so that's basically what I got for you now, and I'll be back with you with more updates. This is Eric Lillwood. Thank you. Have a good day, evening or night.